Creativity is an addiction. Sure, you've got ups and downs and in-betweens, twists and tumbles, and oh my God, what's next? But you know what? It's all part of the game. Treat it like the game that it is. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. One of the things that you don't really get to see or hear is me going through the book to pick out the pages that we will talk about today. The mind is seeking that open space. The heart is preparing for not a race, but a place. A place where we can all grow together. You know, there was once a time when all I wrote about was gaining access to the removal of the mask. I saw myself in the mirror, but I didn't know the self that was wearing the same clothes. As time continues to grow beyond childhood dreams and wishes, the ambitions to continue building haven't swayed, mainly by way of writing. It seems like such a chore and or a dangerous game to others because we are taught as children to keep our emotions next to our chest. Even Bruce Lee was quoted to say, never let your enemies see your knowledge, which is an odd thing to live by because if you're keeping everything to yourself, eventually your truer identity is overtaken by consumption and assumption. Knowing who you are doesn't mean bragging about the accomplishments. As Randy Bachman of Bachman Turner Overdrive once said to me, you only know me for my hits. What about my strikeouts? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, pen to paper. Sure, you can do it on a computer. I talk to enough writers that do that. They've just got to put their 10 little fingers on there and go, and they're okay with that. I use pen to paper because it just feels like my whole entire body is a part of the process. Try it sometime. Buy a writing instrument, not a pen, a writing instrument that you can call your own. Give it a name and then enjoy the journey. This is The Daily Mess. Those moments when you want to tell yourself, no, 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 but end up doing it anyway, but with an attitude. Not always the best feeling, is it? I don't suffer from restless bitch face, but when things aren't going my way, I am absolutely unafraid to use my voice. That's when you see assumed friends walking away. Most want my upbeat energy. They want that guy, not the person who deals with reality. I mean, it's tough enough for them to deal with their own fits, only to see the guy that brings them that upbeat feeling. He isn't doing too well. He's not that Marvel character. Oh, no. He has days of doubt as well. What are we going to do? How dare we get caught up in such a circle, such a mess? You know, between the two of us here, let's let's be really super honest, okay? Most motivational walkers aren't who they think they are. They hold the tools to stay upbeat and positive, but we never get to see what's going on inside that mirror. The things that make them weak to keep reaching out for new ideas and new ways to build up not only themselves, but others. When all are gone, it's only their image in that mirror. That's where the identity of reality is unveiled, which means what to the selfie picture now being put on display on the World Wide Web. Who you are in that mirror versus who and what you are in the realm of reality. There's a reason why I'm upbeat when I'm at the essential job or when I'm out and about on the streets of the everyday world. I'm upbeat because I want to feel upbeat, hoping that others will connect to the upbeat mode. But I am just as human as anybody else. And there are times where I go through seasonal changes. And I do hold on to tools that can get me through the cloudy moments. But there's also times where the mud that I'm tracking through trips me. Where are those to pick us up after we've picked them up? Oh, that's right. They're the ones that turned and walked away because you were having a bad day. But this isn't about me. This is about how can we get you to go the other direction? Instead of settling for, oh, no, 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 rather than, yeah, what you looking for? 
There is something to be said about outreach. You may feel like crud, but if you reach out and help somebody else who is also feeling like crud, it doesn't have to be a day of doubt, shame, guilt, but it can be a day of growth, not only for them, but for you, because you start to realize how much of a giver you really are and how much of your energy doesn't have to be swiped or stolen, but rather it helps inspire to help them understand they have a daily choice. I can be, (laughs) or I can be, how's your day? You doing good? Seriously, are you doing good? All right. How can we make a better connection to those around us? Learning how to not only face that image in the mirror, because there's a lot of negative energy in there. Look at the way you dress, the way you comb your hair. How hard did you press down on your teeth when you were brushing them? Ooh. There's some angst. There's some angst. Did you floss? Did you pick up your dirty socks and put them in the hamper? Okay, I get it. I get it. I don't want you to go out into the world to be a fake. I want you to internally feel that energy. Bring it from the inside of your core and allow it to grow on the outside. Not so that others will come up to you like a magnet, but rather believe in the spirit that you bring. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.